so for today's video I'm doing a much requested tutorial on how to put on a wig. This video is actually an unboxing and review for a Whiny Wigs wig, kind enough to send me a wig of my choice. You guys know that I wear wigs so much because of my job as a party princess entertainer for children's parties and events and I don't actually have any wigs that I can wear casually. Their wigs are lace front and they're made to be looking like human hair where you can wear them out and about. You guys have asked so so much how do you actually put on a wig and make it look good so I'll be showing you how to cut the lace and everything as well as reviewing the product so here is the box and we're gonna open it up I have not done this yet because I've been waiting for this video so we've got some tissue paper okay so we've got a little card and the wig is in a black netting which is always good to see first impressions it has a lot of different colors of purple inside like if you look it's got lots of different shades which is quite nice actually no shine to it as well like a very minimal shine but you're gonna get that with synthetic hair so we're gonna read the card and it says oh it's just care instructions so it says to detangle to wash to condition and dry and warning so Cool, they've got that. And actually how to wash the wig, that must mean it's quite high quality if it's been able to wash. So now I'm gonna take out the wig. Oh wow, so I'm gonna set this aside because we've got a few gifts with it. Wow, so it looks like we have two wig caps. That's really cool, I'm in need of more wig caps. And then we also got a little pack of black bobby pins. Not bad actually because I always like to pin it in place if I'm not gluing it down, which today I won't be gluing it down purely for the sake of filming this, not actually needing it for a purpose. That's really kind of them. Okay, we have the wig head and I like to have these like pins to put inside because it holds the wigs in place. You can get literally a whole pack of them on Amazon and eBay. We're gonna take out the little stuffing that's inside. It doesn't look like it has a part in so I'm not sure if I'm going to create a part in or not but it's looking like inside the lace goes up until back here so the parting can't be too big. Oh that's really good it has like crocodile clips inside I love it when wigs do that they just stay to your head so well. Okay let's take it out of the black netting. I like to keep hold of these black ones because this is how I like to store them to keep their shape. So do keep hold of these. So much longer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you can't see it, but the different shades of purple is really nice. When you've got lace, it's really easy to make baby hairs. I definitely prefer lace wigs. They also look so much more natural as well. First, you want to prep your hair. I'm going to grab a thin elastic band. So this is the length of my hair. It's not too long. It's not short either. But I like to put it in a low ponytail. If you've got really long hair, you definitely want to braid them in two Dutch braids and then pin them up. I find when you've got pins under a wig, they sometimes can be in the wrong position and kind of hurt. I'm going to be taking the wig cap that they gave me. It's my little bag of wig caps. So this is mine and this is theirs. Slightly lighter actually. But what the ones I own are like full head ones like this but this one is like a black one I own where it's kind of like a scrunchie two ends to it two holes when you've got one of these you want to put it round your head like that from your neck and then you want to bring the edge of it up to your hairline and then bring it back and gather your ponytail and gather it up and then just kind of push it in then you want to push this back to get all baby hairs back. I like to sometimes bring it forward and just from the ears and then push it back so you can get all baby hairs. This is a very thin wig cap. Not too sure how I like about the feel. I do tend to go for a bit thicker. So I usually do cut the lace while it's on a wig head rather than on me. Basically you want to cut a little bit lower than the hairline and literally cut around. This will blend into your skin because it is lace so it's just clear. It will give you something to glue down but not too much so that it's too visible. See that? Nicely cut and now we're going to go and cut this side. My biggest pet peeve is when people flip the wig upside down, pop their head in it and flip it back up. That is just a big no. First of all, it gets it messy. Second of all, you can't put it on properly and have less control over what you're doing. If you've got any like plaits or it's in a style, you lose the style completely. Do you want to put it on from the back and push it up? You want to find the clips. There's two clips either side here. And that kind of shows you where it should be if there's no parting. I'm going to clip them in. I don't like to do any clips if they're at the top or at the back because you just can't really get to them. Okay, well, it's in this. 
I'm going to pin it, so I'm going to use the pins from what they gave me and I'm going to pin here as I'm not gluing it today if you do glue it, just use eyelash glue, latex or wig glue and glue it under the lace, it will only stick with the lace so I like to do one either side just above the ears I like to do some underneath one more for the other side okay so I'm going to get my wig brush so I'm going to be creating this natural kind of part in here as you can see it's starting to form um, I think this looks really nice with the style actually synthetic wigs do get really really tangly underneath you will find that as you keep a wig if you wear it out and about especially with winds underneath it gets really tangly so it can shed quite a bit but this one when I'm brushing it actually is not shedding anything like no hair has come off of it yet wow oh my gosh I love it so natural as well look at that Whiny wigs, you are winning at the moment. It's so soft. I can literally run my fingers through it. I like the wave. I was really worried because some wigs' waves can look really, really bad. Now I think we're going to work on the heart in because I think I want to define it a little bit more. This is about where the lace would end because the rest of the hair doesn't really form a part in behind it. And I don't think I want any baby hairs though, actually. I was thinking about putting some baby hairs in. But actually, I don't think it needs it. Tweezing some hairs out to create a part in, basically. I don't like how it falls down in front a lot. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. If I want to do some more in the future, you could get like pearl hair clips. Um, I think the bigger one for this is better. Like that and like have it just there to like style it a bit and add accessories or you can hair bands in so let me show you what a hair band would look like see that is really 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 nice some people like to pull bits out but if you just bring it up like that kind of makes it more natural like look how cute see this look is like you could totally get away with taking this out and about i cannot recommend whiny wigs any more like so cool i will definitely be getting more wigs from there so worth it if you guys want to try a wig from whiny wigs then definitely do i went and got you a discount code guys and it's not just a percentage off it's a whole ten dollars off of any purchase it's literally just claudia in capital letters super easy i will have their link to their website and all their social medias in the description box below all my social media links are in the description box below so you can go check me out on any of those and see all the photos i've uploaded with this beautiful wig on give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe down below turn on post notification so you never miss an upload i upload every single sunday at 12 p.m gmt this video was so 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 highly requested i'm so glad i brought it to you now and if you have any more video requests, comment them down below and I most definitely will get around to them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!